Hey everyone, how's it going? In this video, we're going to find the values of trig functions if we're given the value of one trig function. So uh, the problem statement says find all the values of all the trig functions if cosine of theta is equal to negative 5 over 13 and theta is in quadrant number 2. Okay, so let's review what our trig functions are. We have so ka toa, right? Sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent adjacent. Okay, but then we also have three more functions. We have cosecant, which is CSC, and that is just the reciprocal of sine, which is hypotenuse over opposite. We have secant, which is hypotenuse over adjacent, and then we have um, cotangent which is adjacent over opposite. Okay, so um, what we're going to do now, let's see, is find all the values of all of these when cosine of theta is equal to negative five over 13 and theta is in quadrant number two. So let's make a, a quick sketch of that. I'm gonna draw a unit circle here. Well, it's not gonna be so much a unit circle is going to be a circle and here is my axis. Let's pretend that goes through the center. And where are our quadrants? Here is quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. So we know we're somewhere in quadrant two and our cosine is negative five over 13. So what is cosine? Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So our adjacent side is going to be negative 5 and our hypotenuse is going to be 13. It's just that easy. So let me draw this in. I'm going to have my hypotenuse go like this. So it's going to be 13. And then I'm going to have my adjacent side, this side, be 5. And the reason it's negative 5 is because it's on the negative part of the x-axis. So now what we're going to do, this is a right triangle after all, here's our theta. We're going to find out what this missing side is right here. And in order to do that, we're going to use Pythagorean theorem. So we're going to say that 5 squared plus b squared is equal to 13 squared. And then we're going to work that out. We're going to end up with b is equal to 12. Awesome. Okay. Well, now let's just figure out all of our functions. So what is sine? Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So what's opposite? 12. And what's our hypotenuse? 13. So sine of theta is equal to 12 over 13. Likewise, we can find our cosecant by just flipping it. So we get cosecant is equal to 13 over 12. Okay. We already know our cosine, our cosine of theta is equal to negative uh, 5 over 13, because this is negative 5 right here. So our secant value is easy to find. That's just the reciprocal of this. So our secant theta is equal to 13 over negative 5. Okay. And now what about our tangent value? Our tangent theta is just our opposite over adjacent. So opposite is 12, adjacent is negative 5. So we get 12 over negative 5. And that makes our cotangent theta equal to negative 5 over 12. So as you can see, if you know one value, all you have to do is make a triangle, plug the numbers in, use Pythagorean theorem usually to find the third side and then you just have to plug in based on what's opposite, what's adjacent, and what's hypotenuse 
and you can find every other trig function. So I hope this video helped. If there's any questions, let me know. And as always, happy studying.